When you want to group a complex animation into one single layer, you usually pre-compose them. This way you can duplicate it a multiple times without getting overwhelmed by so many layers. But you always have to switch to the pre-composition to adjust the animation. In some situations, there is a better way to nest the animation and still have direct access to the parameters within the same composition. This is a simple animation that consists of staggered layers. Each layer, except of the background, has a simple scale animation. Let's have a closer look at the layers. We have a background solid, three shape layers and a footage layer with a circle effect applied to mask it. First, I'm gonna show you the traditional way to duplicate the animation. I'm gonna select the animated layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate them, right click and select Precompose. And here we have the duplicated animation compromised in one layer. This way you don't have to deal with numerous layers. And one of the advantages to have a precomposition is that you can let the animation start from a different time. The problem is, you have to leave your main composition to adjust the animation and go back to the main composition again to see the result in context. Okay, let's undo this and let me show you an alternative way. I'm gonna create a new solid, color doesn't matter, go to effect, channel and apply a calculations effect. Then I'm gonna change second layer to layer number 5 and second layer opacity to 100%. To make this layer transparent, I'm gonna change blending mode to copy. Let's hide the other layers and as you can see, we just made an exact copy of shape layer 3. We can now duplicate the calculations effect and set second layer to the layer above. In this calculations effect, we can switch blending mode back to normal and uncheck preserve transparency. Let's duplicate the calculations effect again and change second layer to layer number 3. And this is the way we can stack multiple layers within a solid. Let's duplicate the calculations effect for the last time to bring in the footage layer. But this time we have to set the second layer option to mask and effects to include the circle effect. But something is wrong. The footage layer isn't scaling. And the reason is that transform properties of footage and solid layers are ignored. That's not the case for shape and text layers. To fix this, I'm going to delete the scale keyframes, reset scale to 100%, apply a transform effect to the footage layer and animate the scale property of the transform effect instead. And finally, we made an imitation of a pre-composition. Like any pre-composition, we can reposition it. And we can also switch off the layers we don't need and even change the layer order and the blending mode. Let's duplicate the solid layer, move it here, switch on the bottom calculations effect and change blending mode to silhouette alpha to create a hole. Can we stagger the animation? Well, not really. The animations do pop up at different times, but they are still in sync. Luckily, there is a workaround. I'm gonna create an adjustment layer, place it below the solid layers and apply a time warp effect to it. I'm gonna set method to hold frames and speed to zero. In order to create a 10 frames delay, I'm gonna set a speed keyframe at frame 9, go to frame 10 and change speed to 100. Now every animation below the adjustment layer is delayed by 10 frames. We can now duplicate the adjustment layer and place it between the solid layers to create a staggered animation. Although we have adjusted each duplicated animation individually, they are still connected to the original layers. We just need to change the original properties in order to change the duplicated animations the same way. And the good thing about it is, we don't need to switch to another composition. This method has its limitations. For example, you can't copy the track math function with a calculations effect. But as long as you don't have complex animations, I think it's a good alternative to keep your layers organized. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please like my video, subscribe my channel and turn on the bell to get notified of more tutorials. See you next time.